Mm -hmm. uh, short is PTM. And uh, this is something uh, that is designed for uh, three-dimensional objects that are, that are in general relatively, you know, have, have a flatness to them, uh, but still three-dimensional kind of stuff. So uh, cylinder seals are, mm -hmm. are uh, good for, uh, for uh, the impressions are good for this, not, not the seals themselves. Anyway, you put the object at the uh, level of this dome here. The dome is fitted with 32 individual strobe lights. Okay? Uh, you put your camera up here, facing straight down, uh, focused on the object down here. You hit the button on the computer, and uh, the computer takes 32 images uh, of, the, uh, of the object with one of these lights shining each time. And then the software merges those. Come back to this one, <clears throat> and uh, and uh, creates a a high resolution picture right here. But the difference in this picture and another picture uh, is that over here, this circle, you uh, put your cursor in the circle and you uh, hold hold it down and you move, and it lets you move the light around wherever you want it. And in a, uh, this is a, uh, uh, one of the seals is actually out on display. Um, in certain uh, lights, you know, if, if you just get one picture of, of the impression, which is what is normally published, uh, certain things show up real well and certain things don't show up at all. Uh, but with this, you can work your way around the uh, impression and things that uh, sometimes uh, are just completely missing, like uh, the hatching of the uh, uh, manes of these lions, uh, or the hatching of the gazelle uh, here, <clears throat> or even in some cases, uh, uh, there are certain places where you can't see the, uh, uh, the skirt of this uh, character here. All of this is uh, now uh, findable uh, because you can move the, uh, the light in any direction uh, that you need it to be. And then you find a, uh, uh, a uh, light angle that you particularly like, that shows up what you're most interested in. You hit the uh, T key and it takes a uh, high resolution image of the picture at that light. Hmm. And in fact, there are ways in which you can uh, turn on more than one light at a time so that you can balance the lights yeah. and, uh, and get pictures that are just uh, stunningly uh, uh, sharp and beautiful that show up almost uh, every day. Anyway, <clears throat> um, so the dome we use for small objects like this uh, to create these uh, PTMs, and we're going to make these available uh, via our website. <clears throat> But uh, just recently, uh, the scientists who developed this at Hewlett Packard came up with a, a way of um, doing the, the same thing without having to put it under a dome. That you could go out into, a, uh, into the field or go out into a museum and do a PTM of a large object <clears throat> by placing a shiny ball at the foot of a picture of whatever you're, you're taking. And then just hand holding a flash and then replicating a virtual dome over the object. Uh, so here, for example, uh, we've done one of the, one of the uh, sections of the Parthenon trees mm -hmm. out, uh, out uh, in the museum. <clears throat> the uh, flash uh, reflects off the ball and the computer can look at the ball and tell exactly where that flash came from. And so then can make all the adjustments in uh, creating uh, from the 32 images, no matter, even if you didn't do it very, very no, accurately. Not even systematic. <clears throat> no, no. Uh, and create uh, this. So here is, here is uh, the, uh, uh, one of the Parthenon uh, freeze uh, panels. And all of a sudden, whammo, uh, here you can you can see uh, things that you don't see actually even looking at it downstairs because it's got a fixed light source there, mm -hmm. and uh, so from here you can look at at you know the the way the clothing has been uh, done here. You bring the light over and you can uh, see this guy's face. You bring the light in a different uh, direction, 
and you catch what is left of the face of this guy. Um, from one angle uh, here, you know, you can, you can uh, 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 see the horse here very nicely. Uh, you come over here and you can see this horse uh, much better. Uh, you, you get the light in the right direction and uh, you suddenly see uh, that the tail of this horse is actually partially preserved. It's, it's only barely preserved, but there it is uh, down here. Uh, whereas in other, other spots, you can't even see the tail. Mm. You don't even notice the tail there. Uh, so this then allows people to, uh, uh, once again, you know, look for exactly the, uh, the thing that they are most interested in, uh, take a picture of it, and use that picture uh, but